So I think this is another airlock, right? There we go. Unlock the airlock for psychotronics. That's the second one we could have unlocked. I could probably go into space for a second if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that just yet. This lab is on fire. So that's a mimic. Should probably focus on that guy in a second, but... Ah, and that's the other staircase. Fair enough. Fair enough. Makes sense. Okay. I think I can just about see it over here. There we go. Mimic Matter Tree done. Uh, that's one down. I know there's at least two more. So the one I scanned and the one I, I got away. H2O is probably flammable. Probably should go around the other way. There's a note here. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can just take notes. There's a lot of sticky notes on this place. Not a mimic. Ah, okay. So a lot of these items have markers that just indicate that they're not mimics. Behind it? How... How the hell did you hit me through the boxes? That was not fair. So it was a coffee cup right next to the box. I'm just gonna... Yeah, so there's more corpses over there. There's a phantom. There's a phantom. There's a phantom. There's a phantom. Um. Um. Don't know what to do with this guy now. Aha. So he's leaving again. I'm gonna stay on track then. Behavioral biometrics. That sounds fancy. Specimens required. So, oh wait. I did check, but so this thing is definitely a mimic. Obviously. But for some reason, it's behind. Yeah, okay, it's in that room. Deploy null wave. Greater mimic. So that's a greater mimic. So that's one of the spiky ones. So now it can't transform anymore, I'm assuming. Um, okay. Apparently it didn't really do anything. After the last six months here, I'm going with magic. On how this actually works. Okay, so they don't know. Hallucinogenic fields, pocket dimension or transmutation. They don't know. Okay, Dome Taker. Dome Taker 3, pilgrimage to the autarky of the dome. Arrived at my last drop, let me know if you'd like to download the caves are all handcrafted. Okay, and then the mystery man. Does Lanzetta ring any bells? Dr. Gus Lanzetta. What if I told you he worked with us for a week? One week. The week before the entire science staff had last quarter's neuromods removed. He left his badge in a locker. I had IT look up his account and it had all been deleted. All but his credential. Who the hell was he? So yeah, the, the mimic knows where I am, but I don't really care about that. And there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Oh, the phantom is here. I did get shot by the turret, so I did get some sneak attack damage in. So that means that the turret is probably dead again. Because um, otherwise the phantom wouldn't have survived. I'm assuming, just gonna just gonna take another sip of of uh, the, the tea. The tea, yeah, definitely some tea. Tea is nice. I like tea. I can press buttons. What is it? Ah, so it transforms into the objects it sees. Fair enough, fair enough. Quickly checking the room for more mimics. Doesn't seem like there are any. Typhon Lure. What is that? Okay. Emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move towards the lure for a short period of time. Combined with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, or observe Typhon from a safe distance. Okay. Rory, I've loaded another nightlight as requested. Up the psycholuminescence. This time the Typhon ought to follow the lure like an imprinted duckling. Okay. Seems like a cool item. I don't really need it though. Oh, what? What the hell is this? 
I'm going to assume that hurts. I'm going to assume that hurts. There's something walking up there. Yeah, that's a science operator. Never mind. Yeah, okay. So once I see it with the psychoscope, it's scanned. It's going to stay on my radar. I should probably check. Ooh, two more neuro modes. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. And then there's a few more items around here. Another one of those lures and a med kit. And then we get this hallway with a broken turret behind it. That's probably the turret that damaged the phantom. But if there's a broken turret, because this is not the turret I had in mind, I think. Unless that's the same hallway that was on fire. I don't think it is. Just going to keep the pistol handy. Rory Mannion and a new transcribe. There we go. Let's listen to I that. I can hear the weaver through the walls. Son of a bitch is gloating. I know it. How are you holding up? I dropped a couple of nightlights to lure the phantoms away. Put sticky notes on every goddamn thing I'm sure isn't a mimic. You? Good. Safe inside the armory. Squashed a mimic that slipped in, but that's it. I got everything sealed tight. What's our plan? Wait for rescue? <laughs> you know... If we make it, Alex is just going to pull our mods. You want to remember this shit? I think we could get out through the guts. Work our way up to the Arboretum. <sighs> okay. Say the word. Okay, so those guys actually survived and started to develop some theories about the Typhon and how to get rid of them, which is good for them. So that's... Uh, they probably realized that their psychoscopes could help them in that account. Which is uh, definitely good for them. So where are we now? Does it say on the terminal? Helen Barker Combs. Report 37. Has shown signs of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated morbid curiosity in small objects around him. Attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them. Initial diagnosis would seem to be rapid onset pica, but there was no evidence of this prior to his exposure to the telepath. We're not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject isn't making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next shift to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus or intestines. Okay, so 37 was crazy. He's still under suicide watch. As requested, the prisoner hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean for upcoming surgery. No food either, only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth, staring at the same point at the wall and mumbling to himself in Russian. Can't make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer doesn't seem to be suicidal. He seems disoriented, like he's sleep drunk. An encephalectomy. I think we've gotten just about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I want you to schedule surgery within the next few days. Let's get it out and into analysis as soon as possible. I think an encephalectomy is opening up the guy's head. Which is uh, great, I suppose. That's, that's just great. So the turret is alive and well. I couldn't access that room. There's no keypad for it either. And that's Tokaji, so that's the guy that lost his fingers. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you manage to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino, he has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. Okay. So the first time they discovered it, we actually wanted to go through with it, but Alex didn't. Because he was afraid of... Okay. So no new data there. I don't think this guy can actually... Oh god! Yeah. Should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming straight in the face. That's why I don't do enough damage from that distance. Okay, I'm just gonna heal up. And then I think I'm gonna go for the firearms... Ooh, firearms uh, upgrade. The firearms one, so it increases 
to 120%, so 20% extra damage, and critically hits to 60, so that's four neural mods in the pipeline. There we go. So now, that phantom is in my way, because I wanted to go there, and he's definitely in my way, so I'm going to have to go down. Although, I want to take one of those stairs. Look, because he's trying, he's definitely trying to get to me, and I feel like he's actually succeeding. There we go. Got him with a sneak shotgun blast. There we go. I would love the fabrication plan for shotgun shells, though. That would be nice. But remember, we also got the fabrication plan for neuro molds. Which is gonna come in handy, I think. Uh, if I can remember where the fabrication thing was supposed to be. Hello? Um, wait, where am I? So that's where we came from. This is where we... Hmm. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you in the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. Weaver. Weaknesses, Null Wave and Psycho Shock. Immunity to EMP. And it has a few scannable powers. But this seems to be the next level of enemies. So that's the mimic we saw getting killed by the other mimics. And then uh, turning into that in the process. Which is... Can I open up the door? Thank you. Thank you, operator. Get lost. And then I can use the fabricator over here. So, recycled my remaining stuff. I want to see. So, I got neuromods now. A device invented by Transtar that modifies a subject's brain in order to impart new skills, knowledge, and paranormal abilities. We knew about that. And we can apparently craft a few of these. So, I think I'm going to craft four of them. So place crafting materials and create that. And that will allow us to upgrade our suit once more, I think. I think. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, suit is four again. So that gives me more space. More space means more items I can pick up. More items means, you know, more stuff. And more stuff is always better in these kinds of games. Um, so there we go. And that gives us a very expansive inventory. Look at that. It actually gives me an extra column and row. So it expands diagonally, which is really, really cool. Just gonna auto sort that because it looks really nice. And then, ooh. Oh, I've been carrying around double, double glue guns and double pistols. Wait, can I drop that? What happens if I drop that in the recycler? Because that's metal and I'm usually short on metal. So if I drop... Because this is material yield. And if I dismantle, I just get the spare part. I have enough spare parts. So if I drop that in, recycle that. I got synthetic materials and mineral materials. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. Okay. But now, with all of that, we can go to... Oh. Did not kill? Oh, no. That's Weaver. That's Weaver. No, 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 open that up, open that up. I'm still coming through. Take it easy. Um, so the morgue... The, the key to the morgue was inside the morgue, so that's not gonna help us too much, but... Use plastic tubing... We haven't seen a lot of shotgun shells lately. And for some reason the creepy music set in. This panel isn't broken. And life exam morgue. This is not going to be creepy at all. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't even seem to see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us, of course. I'm not a person. 
Not like you. Okay. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Okay. So we can go to the morgue down there, but this seems to be an examination experiment of some sort. I should probably focus. There's a lot of things I want to do because there was another hallway back there. But let's check this first. Lab procedure phantom genesis. Please ensure there is a cadaver in the enclosure and activate psychoscopes prior to opening containment cylinder. Okay. I can't do anything with that, but live exam controls. Activate psychoscopes before initiating experimental procedures. Deploy null wave, maybe? That didn't do anything. Okay. Open containment shield. I should have probably kept a null wave for that, because now Weaver is inside of the... Um, Um. Warning. Examination theater compromised. So it's getting out. Warning. Examination theater compromised. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Examination theater compromised. That hurts. Uh, this is not good. Because I haven't saved in a while either. Warning. Oh! Oh, weapon of blind! I'm gonna have to take some med kits. <laughs> Fuck me, this thing is. I'm stuck on something. Yeah, my own glue, glue stuff. Woo. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. With all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Okay, great. So, we got another thing. Speed scan. Decreases the amount of time needed to complete the scan. Fair enough. I can use that, and we spend a lot of resources on that. Because <laughs> I spend half my health kits on that thing. I'm hoping I won't find more of those, because um, that was a, a tough fight, and he didn't seem to be interested in getting glue cannons. Let's go down. There was movements. It's an engineering operator, and we can get something out of that, apparently. There we go. Should have probably tossed a null wave at that uh, electric thing as well. I feel like those null waves are probably going to come in handy with those heavy phantoms. Nothing here so far. They are experimenting. Oh, God. Okay. What the hell just happened to that thing again? Because that's the second one that disappeared into. Oh! For fuck's sake. Jesus. This thing is too small. Jesus Christ. So my suit is damaged. Great. There's nothing I, I, I mean, I can do this and that's fine. But uh, otherwise, I'm getting my ass kicked. Wow, I'm losing my shit quickly here. Um, I need to be more careful. But my psychoscope didn't detect that one. I'm 100% sure that my psychoscope didn't detect that one before it became active. Which is a problem. Because if that's not doing that anymore, then I'm in deep shit. Because I was looking at it and it didn't, it didn't react to anything. That's another med kit though. And it's time to eat something again. And I'm out of eating things? No, Russian blur, blurness. Whatever that means. Damn you, the mimics are all over this place. And I can't seem to scan them anymore. Ah, there's a mimic. 
So that's the mimic that killed the turret. Surprise attack. Ah, more bullets. Okay. Let's repair the turret. So I at least have that. And then take all of this stuff as well. And emails from Demian Lin. So I'm an idiot. We saw that. And then the mold malfunctions. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles' movies up until I had that second combinatorics neuromold installed. Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy them, right? Haley isn't happy about it. Ever since, she scrutinized my every move. How much hot sauce I use, where I put my shoes before bed, shit, even my handwriting. You'd say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in, wouldn't you? So, the mods are causing personality changes as well. Which is not good. Still stuffing food in my face. Just stuffing food in my face. I don't even know why I'm in the morgue at the moment. I just read that email about the morgue and I was curious. And now I'm fucked. So the key to the morgue is in the morgue. Which means that there's probably an alternate way of getting in the morgue. And there's a lot of dead people in the morgue. Holy crap. I mean, it makes sense, but still. Um, I don't immediately see a way of us getting in here. Unless I break the window. But even that doesn't allow us to go in. Oh, wait, of course. Um, um, do I still have that thing? I do. So if I equip the Huntress Bolt Caster, I can actually... Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. There we go, open up the door from the other side. That is cool. Okay, that's the first time we actually used the bolt cost. I might have been able to use that before as well. Just checking, there's a lot of neuromods in here and a lot of corpses. And they carry food. Can I, can I open this up? Because there's definitely a corpse in there. Sunburst banana pudding. Sylvain Balamis cabin. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Indeed. So let's take the morgue key cards. So that's that. And then we need to check all the corpses if we want to have that collectionist thing going for us. Oh, these are test subjects. So they don't probably even count for the, the trophy. That is creepy. Because the thing there's, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming there's a trophy. But by the way, Sylvain Bellamy. That's the, the first guy we saw getting eaten by a, a, by a mimic. The guy that was doing the test at the beginning. He ended up just here. Which is definitely no good. Uh, was there anything in that cabinet? Oh, Psy Hypos. Psy Hypos. I could probably dismantle those to get... What does that give me? Because I'm not going to use them. So might as well... Ooh. So that's a total material yield of all of that. If I'm not going to use Psy abilities, as I think I won't, then that's going to come in handy. Because I can just turn that into materials. Okay, so I think I've seen enough in the morgue. I've done what I needed to do here. Uh, so I can go back up. And I think I'm quickly going to go to the other side of that room. Because there was something else here. So, first up, there's that hallway with the fire. I can definitely deal with that. So I can use the glue cannon to start... Well, taking out the fire. So, one over there. Wait. Oh! Um, um, help, help. Ah. 
Damn, son. Those were really aggressive. And they just went straight through the fire, so that's not really effective against mimics, is it? Luckily, I just picked up some food from those uh, corpses. I mean, seriously, guys, don't, don't eat food from corpses. Doesn't seem like such a good idea. So let's just plug these holes as well. Aha! And that's another one of those doors that we can just take out. Uh, first like this. Oh. Okay. How the hell am I going to do this? Oh, I did it. I did it. It took me a very long time because uh, I think this this place is going to be riddled with foam, foam bolts. Oh god, where did they go? I lost a lot of them. I think I lost a lot of my foam bolts. There's a few of them here, but I shot way more than that. Um, I think they all just disappeared. So that's that's a problem for later, but I, I spent most of my bolts on that. Um, but that time passed, so I can now eat some more crispy fries. There we go. Just gonna go back to the pistol. And now I can smack this door open. Hey! Hey! What? Uh, there's somebody this alive here. Okay. Interesting. So, hello, person. Can, can I can I have a little? I I've never seen a human in this Find game. Anything good in that armory? Well, I was gonna give you the code, but I guess you don't need it. Still, I sure would appreciate being let out of here. Do My I trust you, Aaron? Aaron Ingram. So remember, the people that were... All you gotta do is open the door! That were stuck in here. Because he wanted to give me the armory code, but apparently I already opened the armory he wants me to open. Um, <sighs> request record. Um, human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor distribution of controlled substances, and fraudulent impersonation. Yeah, I'm not gonna release hey. you, buddy. What are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Yep. Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen, I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. Um, no. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals... They didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Okay. I but know I'm, I think we're two dead crickets, but nobody deserves this. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just gonna keep you in there for now. What was that? Don't make noises near me. For fuck's sake. Just gonna listen to Christine. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I meant it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. So the armory is over here. That's a door I'd opened up with the the foam cross bolts. So I'm just gonna open that up. There we go. Just quickly gonna check that there are no mimics in here. There we go. Let's take the glue cannon, another Niramod, and the corpse of Demian Lin. And ooh. Silence pistol fabrication plan. Shotgun shells fabrication plan and a weapon upgrade kit. That is nice. This is very nice. So that's the shotgun shells, which is uh, something we've been uh, wanting to have for a while now. So there was one of my foam bolts there, but the rest is uh, probably gone to the eater. Uh, there's another shotgun over here, silenced pistol. I'm gonna take it all. Glue canister and more shotgun shells, which are really, really sparse right now. Oh, more of my flexi foam bolts. 
This guy is probably going to continue to whine. Material storage subject holding. A local lockdown rescinded over here as well. But where does this lead to? Oh. There definitely was a mimic. And a phantom. And a mimic. Okay. Okay, so is this... Where are we now? This is back in the original hallway, probably. Aha, so there is a turret that actually took care of those. That's good. That's really good. So where are we now? So this is the other side of that area where the, the thing was, the weaver thing was. But then there's this hallway as well, and I feel like we're constantly walking past things. This area is big. Ah, so this is the other side of the morgue. But we did go through this door originally, right? Right? Oh no, I found a way through the lower part probably, or went the other way first. Yeah, okay, so we went all the way around, so that's good. That means that we're probably good to go to whatever that is the guts the guts the guts the guts so yeah there's the door and this was actually protected by two turrets two turrets that managed to kill the family eradicator auto turrets transfer's last ditch defense against an outbreak flimsy but they're easy to fabricate best part is the built-in psychoscope tech they can discriminate between alien and human targets shouldn't be a problem for you since you're not an alien there we go, let's fix that, fix that one up. I mean, he's looking in the wrong direction though. So let's put him over here and deploy him. Oh, I need to be back a bit. There we go. That's good, so that's protected. I'm just gonna quickly check around here because these things actually contain items. And with that, I think I'm even going to take a little break, because we've been going for a while now. I don't know if this is going to be all one episode. Might cut this down into two episodes. But, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We've been through the entirety of Psychotronics. Uh, they're still weaving alive, but I don't think we can actually kill that thing. So, uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey when we return and go to Guts. That's that over there. Doesn't sound good, but we'll see about that. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.